بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز الحكيم ما خلقنا السماوات والأرض وما بينهما إلا بالحق وأجل مسمى والذين كفروا عما أنذروا معرضون قل أرأيتم ما تدعون من دون الله أروني ماذا خلقوا من الأرض أروني ماذا خلقوا من الأرض أم لهم شرك في السماوات إيتوني بكتاب من قبل هذا أو أثارة من علم إن كنتم صادقين ومن أضل ممن يدعو من دون الله من لا يستجيب له إلى يوم القيامة وهم عن دعائهم غافلون وإذا حشر الناس كانوا لهم أعداء وكانوا بعبادتهم كافرين وإذا تتلى عليهم آياتنا بينات قال الذين كفروا قال الذين كفروا للحق لما جاء
السلام عليكم ورحمة Alibaba Mishi. Musa, Musa, hello, hello, Baba. Take see this. Hello, hello. Ungo, ungo, ungo. Talk to me.
को As God are keeping you alive and give you the grace and abundance to see your family together. And he went to the mosque and come back and said, yes. Well, uh, to God be the glory. Uh, today is Eid al-Fitr, Eid mubarak uh, The end of Ramadan has come. And then we thank Almighty for letting us to witness this occasion and uh, we pray for Almighty God that uh, in the year future we will witness the same occasion many many years to come and uh, I am appealing to the well meaning of Nigerians to put the country in prayer first the nation is supposed to be ahead of everybody and all of us. So we pray for the nation, we pray for the well-being of all Muslim Ummah and for the non-Muslim also because peace and stability is very, very important to every nation. So that is my hope and as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Um, the foundations of your mission and the life of Musa. SMS from News Omega. Thank you very much. Uh, my foundation, Ibrahim Magnet Foundation, was incorporated a couple of years back. And uh, this foundation is a non governmental organization. And uh, the main purpose of this is to cater for the less privileged. And uh, regarding Musa's issue, it's a very pathetic one. Uh, it's a toddler being bastardized by his stepmother. I was far away in Lagos when I heard about it. I saw it in the newspaper. I don't know Musa from Adam, you know. So. Uh, my president called me and showed me the picture on Daily Trust. So we have to come to his rescue in terms of uh, welfare, and, uh, which we quickly uh, pledge our support to him. And do and, okay uh, to calling. So with this, thank you, sir. Okay to calling. We have to uh, emulate okay, the gesture of number one, Andrew, okay, having a house for him in the Kano Municipal, Andrew, because okay, he came from a living that a local government area of Kano State and a suburb of village called. So that village, we decided that uh, let the wife, and, uh, the mother, and also the grandparents. Musa, that is the mother of the king and the father of the king, to come and be in the city of Kano to stay so that they can give them very good upbringing regarding the Andrew, education, okay, the, to calling. the educational aspect of it. Andrew, okay. So that is exactly what we have done. And uh, inshallah, uh, Musa is here in Abuja. The first lady has taken him from Kano down to the hospital here in Abuja, uh, Cedar Crest Hospital. And uh, as God will have it, Musa has uh, responded quickly to his treatment. Musa is back on his foot now. So he was discharged and he is now right now in my house. Very soon he will go back to Kano. We'll first take him to the village there after we have taken him there then the mother, the grandparent would now relocate back to Kano and give them a very good standard education. 
both Islamic and Western education. Thank you, sir. Uh, in that time, when I was seeing it, I see the Emir of Kano appear in the hospital. Um, yes. Thank you, sir. The Emir and the state governor. The, state, the governor of Kano State let's pay a visit to Musa when they heard about all this, what has happened to him. And then the Emir also showed concern and went to the hospital in Kano. And uh, uh, as God will have it, uh, the governor led that Musa is going to be <coughs> a government child. He has taken his educational uh, responsibility. He gave him scholarship from kindergarten down to the university. So that is the gesture of the state government. And uh, the Emir also showed concern and uh, he has supported the family uh, in terms of, I think, cash to Musa. And uh, there and then a lot of people are bringing donations. The money we have given Musa, we put it in a child care trust fund in Diamond Bank. And uh, this money is going to be utilized by Musa when he grow up. And uh, it's been managed, the account is being managed by myself, uh, our, our legal uh, man in the, in the organization, who is now uh, our uh, ED finance. So nobody can touch that money until with the approval of all of us, four signatories. So that is how it is. So subsequently, whatever has come, it, 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 will, it will come to whatever has come, it will come to the knowledge of all of us, all the trustees in the NGO. Thank you, sir, for your good work. Heaven shall look at you. And what is your prayer? For? for your family and your children entirely because of this your good work all over the world. Yes, uh, well, uh, my prayer is, I'm praying Almighty God to spare my life to do a lot of more of this type of gesture. Uh, I wanted to thank Almighty God for giving me what I'm giving to people. Because whatever I have, I made a pledge, it will go to people. And uh, uh, I'm happy God has answered my prayer because when I saw a lot of these things that has happened to human souls, I feel bitter about it and concerned. And with this, I pray to Almighty God to give me what I can be able to afford to help my fellow human beings. I don't tribalize wherever you come from. Be a Christian, be a Muslim, from the south, from the north. Human being is human being. We are all created by Almighty God. So if I am opportune to see somebody that I will assist, if I am in position, I will definitely do that. So I'm praying my God, Almighty Allah, to spare my life, to witness more and more and more of this. I feel I, I dry pleasure in seeing this type of thing that I'm doing. Thank you, sir. What do you have to tell your fellow Nigeria? Well, uh, my appeal to the fellow Nigerians is, number one, to please see the country first and see those within the country second. Nigeria first. Without Nigeria, without peace and unity, there is nothing we can achieve. Nothing you can do without peace and order. So what I'm appealing that let us pray for the nation. Let the nation prosper. When the nation prosper, 
then definitely uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it. Nigeria is, is, is a great country. Nigeria is a great country. So, so the issue is uh, for well meaning Nigeria is number one to strive and see that this type of uh, uh, campaign of colony and building uh, the government, whatever, try and see the nation first. And then we take the nation, all of us, to go and make it stronger. And that is my prayer for all the citizenry. But please, uh, peace, unity is the most important kind of every nation. That is my prayer. Thank you, sir. The Musa is under your care. Yes, Musa is, is here. under your care. Yes. And which prayer do you have to? Pray for Musa, and because now you have become the father of Musa, heaven away of that. And what do you want Musa to be in future as a mentor? Well, uh, Musa is a child of destiny. It's a child of destiny. Only God knows what He has kept for Musa. We cannot say it. Musa would have been no more by now with all what he has done. He has gotten uh, six fractures, two legs and four on his lower limbs, with a battered tongue, crushing the teeth, with bash eye, you can see his eyes. I think uh, we don't know until tomorrow when we go to the hospital, we see the actual uh, uh, hospital uh, uh, report that uh, what is whether he is going to lose that sight or there is hope for it. And then um, we believe by the time Musa grow up, finish his education, it will be a child of softness. So I am praying let God spare the life of Musa and then it will now be a, an, an umbrella for a less privileged child to see what has happened SMS to him and then he will now it can, it can lead to other people so that they can ginger. If there is hope, if there is life, there is hope. And Musa still have hope. And his hope is only God knows. We cannot quantify the hope that this boy has for God to spare his life. Thank you, sir. I want you to have the prayer of peace upon this country, Nigeria. Yes. Well, uh, I pray Almighty God to sustain our nation, to give our nation uh, uh, in those prosperity, resilience, and also, also, whatever is going to come, whether from in or outside the country, should we are praying for Almighty God to protect whatever evil that is going to come to our country in the name of Almighty God. I have a prayer for the supporter of your foundation. Yes, and all uh, those who supported me, my colleagues, my trustees, I am saying I cannot quantify the gratitude and thanks to show up to them. It's only God that is going to reward them. So I am very, very grateful. I'm very, very happy with all what they have done to support me. And I hope God will shower their, uh, his blessing to all of them, to continue to the blessing to all of them. And I'm praying that we will stay long to do this for the nation and for humanity. May God spare our life to do more and more of this uh, gesture. <laughs>
dance, 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 cause God in we know Le, 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 anything you win, I'm going to win And like if you win the election, my brother, I'm going to win Like if you win the contracts, my friend, I'm going to win And if you check the countdown, my brother, I'm going to win And if your market say, le, 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 I'm going to win No, I'm going to win, no, I'm going to win, no Now God do 